Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, and double honors unto the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and honors to you brothers out there on the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and truth. I just want to cover this real quick. Um, it says, Incredible discovery reveals multi dimensional universe in human brain network. Um, Cynthia McKenzie message to eagle.com the human brain is amazing our brain is an advanced supercomputer that is more efficient and possesses more raw computational power than the most impressive supercomputers that have ever been built a groundbreaking discovery begins to reveal the brain's deepest ar architectural secrets and it's clear that our brain is even more advanced than we could ever imagine Scientists have discovered a multi-dimensional universe in brain network. There are structures in the brain with up to 11 dimensions. <laughs> you know, look man. You see, people are so focused in on phones, speakers, and these, this, these technologies that man has created. That they fail to look at man itself and give, give glory to the creator, man. And that's why I love biology, you know, and the more you study biology, the more you have to give glory to the creator because it's, it, the, it's so amazing and wonderful, the things he has created, man, so magnificent, man, and um, the human body, the different organs and the way it works, they still don't understand everything. That's how marvelous it is, you know. And people bigging up laptops and all this stuff when our brain is doing so much more and people don't want to use their brain. Well, let's get Psalms 139 and 14. I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works and that my soul knoweth right. You know, so... You know, at the end of the day, man, we got to give praises unto Yahabah Shamiel Shai for his workmanship. And it ain't over because the Lord has an even greater vessel in store for us, man. As it is written in the, in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we shall all be changed, man. And that, and that all is speaking of the Israelites. The Lord has an even greater vessel that he has he had designed, reserved for us um, to, to dwell on this earth. You know, um, this is Genesis 2 and 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, God formed man of the dust of the ground. And it's amazing that the Lord built us, man. You know, people don't realize that your entire body is constitutes of the raw elements found in the earth. That's why you still need to eat minerals, man, to maintain your body. Minerals are, are raw materials found in the earth. Carbohydrates, fatty acids. Everything you are, everything you eat is based of, on the, the, the dust of the ground, the basic building blocks of life. And the Lord built us, man. When you go into DNA, DNA is nothing more than the blueprint for this architecture which we live in. And, the archi and, and when you check it out, everything which is alive on earth, that has a vessel on earth, has DNA as a blueprint. And who... Who um designed that blueprint? Because it is a design. It's Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, man. And it's it's all beautiful. Um, I want to get one quick scripture, man, because the scripture says that he is the author of beauty. That's like I said, that's why I love biology, man. Alright. It is written that um Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai is the author of beauty. Wisdom, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 13 and 3. With whose beauty, if they be in delight, and took them to be gods, let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Because here it is, people are worshipping the creatures. But how much more better is the Lord, you know, of them? For the first author of beauty has created them. So the Lord is the author of beauty, man. Like if you if you look at a lily, you might say, oh, you like the way a lily is. Well, that lily had to grow and that lily grew from DNA, 
from a from a blueprint. Who wrote that blueprint? Anyway, I just, I just wanted to throw that vibration out there, man. That you know, look, man, the brain, just the human brain itself, is on a different level, man. And Esau's trying to be catch up. He's still with all the technology he has. He still hasn't created anything on the level of what the Lord has created from the beginning. All right. So if that I'm gonna say, Shalom.